and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I'm going to be doing some mini slime and squishy dares. The last time I did a mini dares video was over two months ago, I think. So it's been a while. So that's why I'm doing one today. But before we get started, I want to give out a huge shout out to my notification squad. Thank you so much for your comments. And if you guys aren't part of the notification squad already, all you have to do is turn on your post notifications and leave me a comment down below to be featured in my next one. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to leave more slime and squishy dares in the comments down below. So the first dare that I'm going to be doing today says, I dare you to pour nail polish over a squishy. For this dare, this is the squishy that I'm going to be using. It is a mini Sunday squishy and it is so, so cute. Look at that face, you guys. And then for the nail polish, I decided to use red because it matches the cherry at the top. I don't know how that's going to make it any better, but yeah. The next day... The nail polish has completely dried and surprisingly it was still pretty squishy as you can see and there is the dare all completed. The next dare that I'm going to be doing says, I dare you to make slime on a squishy. And I have done this dare on like a regular size squishy before, you guys may remember the video, but I've never done this on a mini squishy, so we're gonna see how this goes. So here I have a smushy, mushy blind box and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and whatever squishy I get, I will use it to complete this dare. I ended up getting this super adorable cookie squishy. The bow at the top is like so, so cute. I love this squishy. It was really soft and it was pretty squishy. And now to make slime on top of it, I'm going to pour a little bit of some white glue. Then I'm going to add some purple food coloring using this super cute mini spoon that I have. And I'm gonna mix it all together. Even though this is a mini squishy, I felt like I didn't add enough glue. So I'm gonna add a teeny tiny bit more and I'm gonna mix it in. It is now time to activate the slime and I literally only added like three to four drops of the activator, that's all I added in. There is the mini slime all completed and the squishy is also completely fine. I was scared that I added too much food coloring and it would like stain the squishy, but luckily it didn't. So we have our mini slime and our squishy in perfect condition. This final dare I'm super, super excited about. And it is to put makeup on a mini squishy. Honestly, I am super pumped about the stare. I'm gonna try to make it look cute. I'm kind of scared I'm gonna mess it up, but I'm gonna try my 100% best to make it look cute and like enhance its natural features, if you guys know what I mean. Okay guys, this is the squishy that I'm going to be using and I'm basically going to be doing my makeup routine on the squishy. So the first thing I'm gonna apply is some primer and this is like a mini primer that I have because we're doing makeup on a mini squishy. So I'm going to pat that in and surprisingly enough, the primer ended up mattifying the squishy completely, which was honestly pretty awesome. So I really don't use foundation, so I'm gonna go in with some concealer and instead of putting concealer on the face, I'm gonna actually use it to kind of like contour around the shape because it was slightly darker than the actual like shade of the cookie. Next, I'm going in with this mini eyeliner and I'm going to do a winged eyeliner. So this is what the squishy looks like so far and here I'm also kind of showing you guys how the squishy is completely matte. 
For blush, I'm going to be using this mini tarp blush and I'm going to apply that on the cheeks. I know there is already blush on the squishy, but I kind of wanted to add a bit more pigment. And of course, we are also going to apply some highlighter. Look at that glow. I actually think it looks pretty awesome. Finally, I'm going in with some eyeliner and I'm going to apply that on like the swirl that's going on here. By the way, normally I would apply a setting spray, but I'm not going to use it on the squishy because I think it would like mess it up. Here was the squishy before and here it is after. Let me know in a comment down below, do you prefer the squishy before the makeup or after? And that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I did also post a new video over on my main channel. So now that you're done watching this video, you can check it out. The link will be down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.